Rio's two-tone indicator tippet is a tippet material that is two colors, hence the name, and it's an indicator tippet. It's available in four sizes, 1x, 2x, 3x, and 4x, and it alternates colors between bright pink and highly visible chartreuse every eight inches. So very narrow color bands. And if you haven't used this kind of stuff before, you might wonder what it's for. Well, it's a strike indicator. So if you're nymphing, fishing soft tackles, fishing subsurface flies, and you're watching something to see it move on the water, then this is exactly the type of thing you want to use. A lot of people fish European leaders. They fish French leaders and, and Czech and Polish type roll nymphing. And you can hang this vertically down. And by the contrasting color changes, you can see the movement when the fish takes the fly. That's one option. But another very good option is you can take a silicon cloth, like the real fly line cleaning towelette, for example. It's impregnated in silicon for cleaning floating fly lines. And you open that up, and if you wipe that down on your indicator tippet, this thing will float like a cork on the water. And so you'll be able to see the subtlest twitch or movement or stop. So those are two options for converting this into an indicator. The third option, the coolest option of all, we're going to have to leave here and head into the kitchen and show you something cool. To make that third indicator, you need to be in your house. And you need a few things to start off. You need the two-tone tippet material. And use the thickest you can. This is our 2x. You need some duct tape. And you want to cut yourself some quarter-inch wide strips about six or seven inches long. You need a big fat nail, clean, not rusty, and a pair of scissors or snips. And you start off making the indicator by tying yourself a perfection loop in the end. You take your indicator tippet and you pull off a couple of feet. It's going to take a couple of feet to tie the indicator. And you lay it on top of the nail like this. And then take one of those pre-cut quarter inch sections of tape and you just basically tape it to the nail. And you want to put two or three really tight turns in, really binding it down. And you need two or three turns because once you get it in the pan of water, which you will do, it'll start to unravel. So wind it on tight. And that's the first stage. And you can see there's about half an inch between the tape and my loop here. Now you're going to twist and make 30 turns around the nail. One, and you try and get the turns butting up against the previous ones. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit of a gap as long as you don't pull really tight at this stage. So I'm going to do this kind of semi quickly so you can see. Three, you don't want to watch me do this for an hour. Four, five, six, da -de da, you get the idea. Seven, when you've done a few turns, you just want to keep some tension here. You just want to push together about 30 turns. Eight, nine. You can see there's gaps here, but that's why you wind it slack. You can just slide them down. 29, 30. So when you're doing your 30 or thereabouts 30 turns, as I said, you just want to take the time just to compress any last slack bits out. It's not going to matter if there's a little bit of slack in here. You can see there's a tiny gap in that. It's not going to really matter at this stage. You'll see why in a second. Then you pinch these turns. This is the most important part is you pinch the last turn to stop it unraveling and get your bit of gaffer tape. And you are going to tape this as near those 30 turns as you can. Okay, so we're just going to wind it on like this. And the same as we did the right at the beginning, you're going to have really tight, close turns, squishing that tape on. And that is basically what you're looking for. So we've got 30 turns of alternating colors, bound on here, bound on here, and I cut the indicator tip of material off back here, a good six to eight inches back, somewhere like this. And then we're going to put it in a pan of boiling water. Once you prepare them, wrap them on nails, put the duct tape on, then it's a simple matter of just dropping them in the pan, obviously using some tongs to protect yourself. And this pan needs to be boiling hot water. After they've boiled for a good five minutes, carefully take them out. Shake off the hot water. Make sure the straddly bit doesn't touch the hot pan because that'll just melt it into a smithereens. And then 
put it in your freezer. And they're going to stay in there for about 24 hours, getting really cold, setting the monofill into that coiled up shape. And then when you take them out, because monofill absorbs water, you will then want to take them out, put them aside and let them dry out for about 24 hours, get to room temperature. Then they'll have the best memory of all and retain the shape for as long as possible. Once it's been frozen and taken out and dried 24 hours, it's ready to take off the nail. Once it is off the nail, you simply loop to loop it onto your leader where you want it to be. If you've done this right, you're left with a slinky type spring that is the most sensitive indicator you can imagine on the water. And that is the two-tone indicator tippet from Rio. Rio, make the connection.